Today is a bit of a controversial one, however, I feel it is the right thing to do. And that is, I am withdrawing my personal recommendation for users to consider buying the Scout HD goggles from Fat Shark. I bought these a while ago and did a review about them on this channel, and I actually recommended these goggles in that review based on my personal experience, the overall features and capabilities. I do think these are actually a very good product and they offer a lower cost of entry into digital FPV than we've seen on any other system. However, since making that video, I have seen a post from a user that for me raises concerns about you getting support for this product. As a result of that, I can no longer with good conscience recommend it to users if there is a possibility that they're not going to be able to get support from a manufacturer. Just to be clear up front, these are a Fat Shark product. They are branded Fat Shark, as far as I'm aware and concerned, manufactured by Fat Shark and are sold under the Fat Shark brand. And it is Fat Shark who should be offering support for this product to its users. Today, you can still buy these goggles from Get FPV under the Fat Shark brand and they are still selling them to users. However, it would appear that Fat Shark aren't able to fully support the product if you're having a problem. Just to be clear before I jump over to the desktop and explain all of this in a bit more detail, I fully support the HD0 system and this recommendation not to buy is nothing to do with HD0 itself. It is specifically for the Scout HD goggles based on the fact it appears the manufacturer may not be able to fully offer support. Just to explain what has actually happened, a user bought a set of Scout HDs and it appears his antenna connection has come off. We don't know if he accidentally damaged it or it just happened. His own comments was that he used it a few times and it just came off and he reached out to Fat Shark to actually get some help on getting them fixed. This week we've seen the reply from Fat Shark on that and that is that they say they do not have the SMA connector itself for this unit. Please contact HD0 to see if they can help with repair of the unit. For me, this is not acceptable. This goggles is manufactured by Fat Shark. It has their name on the front of it. It is sold under the Fat Shark brand and it is even listed on the Fat Shark website. Yet they're telling people to go to HD0 to get support. If we just hop over to the image just to take a closer look at the antenna connector itself, you can see that these are PCB mount SMA connectors that are soldered directly. And it seems a bit bizarre to me that Fat Shark are saying they can't get this. Because if I go on to Mouser, for instance, or Farnell, this connector is widely available. You can see here, there are 181 in stock in Mouser for £4.74 each. Or if I go over to Farnell, there are only just over 4,000 of these available for a cost of £3.40. Yet Fat Shark are saying they can't get the connector and the user should contact HD0. Now, I know there are people who are going to say, well, these really are HD0 goggles and not Fat Shark. And I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. Whilst the PCB does appear to have been largely designed by DiviMath HD0, these goggles are sold by Fat Shark with their name on the front of it via their resellers under the Fat Shark brand. Still today, you can buy these goggles from GetFPV for $250 because they're still available in stock. Nowhere does it say these goggles may not be fully supported by the manufacturer and they are clearly branded Fat Shark in all of their marketing, in all of the information, yet it seems that Fat Shark are telling people that, sorry, we can't get parts for these. 
And that is pretty much the situation. Now, for me, the reality is I can't personally recommend a product that the manufacturer may not be able to fully support. As far as I'm concerned, these are Fat Shark goggles and it is their responsibility to support users with them. And recommending they go and talk to HD Zero is simply not good enough. If they had put a statement out saying beforehand, sorry, we can't support these any further, then perhaps at least people buying these would know what they're getting into. But today, these are still listed on GetFPV with no warnings, no hints that some parts may not be available. As I've said at the start, I have zero issues with HD Zero themselves, and I also do not think for one minute this is HD Zero's problem, because in my opinion it is not. It is down to Fat Shark to support this product, and they are the ones that should be stepping up to put something in place for users who are having issues. I would also add on a personal note that for me, it does raise a question about a company that they are willing to continue to sell a product that they can't appear to fully support and not make that clear up front. And I am really going to be considering what I buy moving forward with that brand name on it, simply because if they're willing to do it on this, it's going to potentially happen on other things as well. Now, this all leaves the receiver situation with HD Zero a bit difficult. The Scouts were about the only option right now, unless you manage to find a goggles module. These are, again, a Fat Shark product manufactured by Fat Shark. As we understand it, they're no longer in production, and HD Zero are going to be releasing their own new VRXs in the near future. However, today they're not here. You can still find this around certain places. TBS had it last week for $250, but you are paying that original price and you're not going to get it at that $99 discounted price as far as I'm aware. It is also worth mentioning that the same situation stands for this module, that Fat Shark may not be able to support it, although I will add HD Zero have been fully supporting this for users and I have less concerns with this than I do this because for me, this is Fat Shark's core business and they should be fixing problems for users with it. They are, if they're not doing that with this, I am confident that HD Zero should be able to help a user out, but the goggles are a completely different situation altogether. If you're wanting to get something, if you can hold off, hopefully we'll have these new receivers in the near future and I will put a video out on them once they're available. I'm really interested in knowing your thoughts on this one. Please do give me your feedback. I know it is going to be a controversial subject, but at the end of the day for me, as someone who made a recommendation, I'm now withdrawing that. You guys have to make your decisions based on the information and all I'm trying to do is make sure that you've got all the information you need to do that. That's it from me. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.